Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make your very own starter ravine house. This is a nice simple starting ravine house that can be built in pretty much any ravine and the interior will hopefully have enough space for you to store all of your starting survival needs. Now just before we start building everybody, here is the amount of space that we are going to need to make our ravine house. We need to find a part of a ravine that will accommodate a 6x6 block area as represented by the white concrete grid below me. There is more to the house than this, we will be taking up more space than this but this is the important part, we can work around everything else so make sure that you find a suitable area. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your your house please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well and now that we have all of our stuff we can get started so step one ladies and gentlemen once we have found an area that is wide enough for us to build we have to build far enough down so I would recommend digging down or rather building down one two three four five six seven eight at, at least eight you can go deeper but i'd say that about the minimum depth ish is about eight blocks and this is where i'm going to start from this left wall i'm going to place a row of one two three four five six oak planks and i'm going to extend all of these planks backwards by five rows so one two three four five perfect so this space will accommodate us this is going to be the platform for the actual house itself so that's why this is so important this is the actual house so now that we have this on the front left hand corner of the platform i'm going to place one two three cobblestone extend the cobblestone to the right and join it down to the opposite side of the platform like this on the inside of the space on the left, I want you to place a double door. I'm using spruce. Place a row of cobblestone to the right of these spruce doors. Connect it together at the bottom. Place a little window inside, so a glass pane. Oak trap doors either side. I want you to place upside down oak stairs in front of the top two corners of the build and additionally on the opposite side of the door which just so happens to be where we have the oak trap door. Then I want you to place a material that we don't have because I, I guess I'm very very forgetful. I completely forgot that we're going to need some spruce stairs for the roof and basically we want to place the spruce stairs on top of the cobble. We also want to connect the oak stairs together using oak wood slabs, that's a very important part as well. You want to connect it together at the top, you can see how much better that looks. You simply want to extend the stairs, the spruce stairs that is, left and right in the shape of the ravine. And you want to have three rows of them in total, so we have one here right, two, three, if that makes sense. Perfect. And then we'll also want to have another three rows extending down towards the back so we'll want to place a spruce wood stair here on the back of the last spruce wood stair and then one two extending down just like this what you can then do is you can like extend that spruce stair down to the platform using cobblestone you can then fill in this entire back wall using cobblestone and then what i would recommend is placing a window parallel to where the window is on the front so it's in the middle of the road just won't leaving a gap of one and then having a double window where you have the door on the front and then you can place glass inside and then you can kind of just place trap doors all the way in between all of these cobble and that's pretty much all you have to do for detail for the back what you are then able to do is place the same uh, the same amount of oak wood stairs with the same oak wood slabs kind of just extended in between them and then you can place all of your spruce wood stairs so these spruce wood stairs of course are just going to extend across the ravine if there is a crevice somewhere so for instance like well i mean it, it's not really relevant here but here for example like it doesn't matter if some of the stairs extend inwards a little bit more so like if if say that the ravine kind of like extended in a little bit more like this then it doesn't matter you just want to extend the stair across the ravine just so it fits in it's actually better to be 
quite honest with you, if some of your ravine house, if, if some of it is a little bit wonky like this, if some of it does um, kind of like extend into the wall a bit, it looks better, it looks a bit more interesting. So what else can we do? Well, we have to add the chimney. There's a chimney here on the left side. Knock out the two top middle spruce wood stairs, replace them with cobblestone, and then place cobblestone wall there instead. And there you go, there's your chimney. And why earlier did I say that you want to dig at least eight rows down? That is because the cobblestone chimney is at the top. Although, by the way, it wouldn't even matter if, um, it wouldn't even matter if, uh, the, uh, the cobblestone chimney kind of, like, didn't connect to the build exactly, like, if it connected to the top of the ravine exactly, because what you could do is simply just extend the roof through a little bit more, you know? Like, it, it really doesn't matter. This house is, as long as you've got the base shape taken care of, the 6x6, then nothing else matters with the build. It'll all look great, and it'll all pull together. So, now that we've done that, ladies and gentlemen, we've done the basic of the basic. That is the house pretty much done, but we have more things than this. So, what do we want to add to the house? We want to add some platforms so we can get up and down. That'll require oak wood planks. It'll require cobblestone slabs. It will require some oak stairs. We're even going to be using um, some ladders. We'll need jungle leaves. We'll need dirt, a hoe. We'll need carrots. We'll need something that we don't have, which is oak fence. This, you know what? I really do apologize that I forgot all these things, but they will certainly be in the item list. And what we will then want to do now that we have all of these things is we just want to start incrementally adding rows to the front part of our build here. So I'm going to start off by adding, first of all, just one row of oak planks extending the platform. Then I'm going to chuck some jungle leaves underneath the, uh, underneath the window here. Then, I think it would be cool if we had another row of oak planks, and with this, we can make, perhaps, we could we can make ourselves a little bit of a ladder system to extend up and out of the ravine. We might want to assist ourselves by using some dirt and such, but in front of this, we can just add a ladder that will just take us up to the side. It doesn't matter exactly how this ends up looking like... You could go for that effect there, which uh, which I just did in that we the, like the ladder's just built into the side, or you could make an alcove like this, and you could have the ladder going this way, whichever way you feel is is better, pretty much like this, and then later on perhaps you could you could mark this out with like say like an oak fence, and you can put a lantern there just so that you can easily find it. It's all very very malleable. Um, I want to add an entrance to a farm here on the left side. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to add three oak stairs here on the left. I'm then going to put a cobblestone block next to the stairs, extend the cobble to the right. This is where the fence comes in. The fence is going to stand on top of the cobblestone slabs like this. And then we just have to kind of like figure out an area. So this this is where you can dig into the ravine as well if you want. So um, here, what, what do we want to do? You, you just want to make a little bit of a, a bit of a dirt farm, really, first of all. You're probably going to want to chunk out a little bit of the ravine. Something cool that you can do is you can build into the wall if you want to. So we can have a couple of rows of dirt here, uh, maybe some here and some here, just like this, right? And what we can then do is we can extend the cobblestone block that we have just, uh, just here. We can extend it down using a slab, forwards, and then we can join it into the wall like this. And then what can you do? You can add your fence all the way around. You can keep that... What is that block called again? It is not diorite. Granite. <laughs> I almost called it granite. Um, we've got the granite there, but I'll get, I'll get rid of that and we'll replace the granite with uh, with some dirt. And I'm going to hoe this out and I'm going to... No. I'm going to plant the carrots. Don't eat them. We need... These carrots are for planting, not eating. What am I, a rabbit? No, I'm a koala. I should be eating eucalyptus, I want to say. I think it's eucalyptus. But anyway, the point is that we can do this. I think that'll get enough sunlight. And then we, then we have a cool little farm here. Um just underneath if because you can see that there's gaps here right like if you wanted to you can just place a little bit of um slab just to kind of like tidy that up and that's pretty much like a nice starting ravine house it's, it's looking pretty cool ladies and gentlemen i mean all we have to do of course now is just uh do the inside a little bit which is going to be very simple because it's not a big build but i'll tell you what i'm going to go away I'm going to grow my fresh crops. I'm going to decorate the inside of this little bit with some survivally themed stuff. And then I'll be back to show you what this whole thing will look like once it's been done. So this is what 
your ravine house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed ladies and gentlemen. As you can see we have grown all of the carrots outside, the rabbits are certainly going to be happy. I placed a lantern or two just about the place just to keep things a little bit lighter and brighter, a nice little beacon for us whilst we're out and about that we'll actually be able to see like ah that's where the house is because I actually can't see it otherwise. Um, inside of the house, if we take a little bit of a look, it's a nice survival themed interior. We have plenty of space for two beds. We have an anvil, a chest, furnace, a place to uh, store our armor. We have every single crafting implement that we could possibly need and a nice little bit of storage to boot. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system and the description below for more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.